Welcome good people, my name is Joel Collier and today we're going to talk about how to test moderated mediation in AMOS, uh, the Structural Equation Modeling Software Program. So today we're going to talk about not only how to assess mediation, but what happens if you have a moderator that's in there at the same time and does that moderator not only moderate maybe an individual path, but does it moderate the entire indirect effect from the IV ultimately to the DV, the dependent variable. So let's jump right into it then. Uh, so let's say we've got a, a simple model here, uh, and I've used this model in a lot of my videos in the past, but this came from a retail setting where you wanted to see, uh, did the salesperson, uh, did they adapt their behavior to the customer? And if they adapted their behavior, did that lead to customer delight? Uh, and that did that delight ultimately lead to customers spreading positive word of mouth? Uh, so a simple mediation model here uh, to see does adaptive behaviors affect actually uh, throw, flow through delight to positive word of mouth. But what if we wanted to include a moderator in this model as well? Let's say it's a friendliness. So how friendly was the service uh, employee? If the fr uh, employee was really friendly, does that strengthen the relationship from adaptive behavior to customer delight? On the flip side, what if they're not friendly? They adapted their behavior, but they did it in kind of a rude way, really. Uh, and so does having it even less friendly, does that mean the relationship from adaptive behavior to customer light is actually weakened? So we have two things going on here in this moderated mediation model. Not only do we have moderation we're trying to test, but we're also assessing mediation. And does the moderator influence, ultimately, the indirect effect as well. So let's uh, jump into the example uh, in here in Amos and what you'll see here is I've created composite va variables or summated variables uh, for my constructs here. So this first one says comp adapt is adaptive behavior and it stands for a composite variable or a summated variable. So adaptive behavior uh, was initially assessed using four or five items and I summated them up. So I added them all up, then divided by the total number of items to get this summated score. I did this with uh, customer delight and also word of mouth. So I have three summated variables. You can, can see as well, I've also created a summated variable or composite variable for the moderator, which was friendliness. Included that in the model and put a direct effect uh, to the mediator. And then lastly, I created an interaction term to test our moderator. Uh, and you can see with this labeling here, I've li labeled it as center, adapt times friendly. So to get the interaction, uh, I'm going to literally multiply the value of adapt times friendly to get this product term. Um, and it's really a good idea usually to center those values of before you do the, the product. And I've got a whole other video on just simply just simple moderation that explains about how to center, why you need to center, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm not going to go into a ton of detail of it right here. But in essence, you, it's a good idea to always kind of center your values. Uh, it kind of prevents multicollinearity when you're creating this kind of interaction term. Uh, so now I've got um, my IV, I've got my moderator, and an interaction term directly going to the mediator and the mediator to uh, ultimate DV. Uh, the other thing that I've done in this uh, model is I have labeled every path in here. Uh, the IV to the mediator is labeled as the A path. Uh, the mediator to the ultimate DV is the B path. And then the direct effect of the IV to the DV is labeled as the C path. Uh, I did not label the interaction to the mediator as an E path. We save E for um, error terms. You don't want to use really E label, any kind of E labels in there because it's already being used by Amos. It's going to create a bunch of issues. So this one is labeled as the D path. And then I also labeled the path from the, mod the moderator to the mediator as the F path in here. So we're testing mediation along with this moderation that we've set up, but to do so, we also have to set up our bootstrap. Uh, all mediations is really best assessed using a bootstrap, which is uh, you're taking a resampling of your original sample over and over and over again to get a confidence interval. 
Well, to get that, we need to go to Analysis Properties, um, and we need to go to the Bootstrap tab. Uh, we're going to click Perform Bootstrap, and it's going to default to something really small, uh, way too small. I usually change that to 5,000 or even 10,000. I don't really see a big difference between those two usually, so it's usually I just do it as 5,000. And then we also want to click uh, click the Bias Corrected Confidence Interval of 95. We're on an 05 significance level. The other thing we need to do is we need to go into the Output tab and we need to select indirect, direct, and total effects. We won't get the indirect effect. Amos won't give it to us unless we click this specific uh, uh, value right here in the output. And then if you want to click in standardized estimates or squared multiple correlations or modification indices, you're more than welcome to do any of those too if you wanted uh, additional information. We probably won't use the standardized estimates with the indirect effect because we are using a bootstrap. So we're going to probably use the unstandardized ones that we're going to report. So after we have uh, created our model and selected all the analysis output that we want, uh, now let's just go ahead and run the analysis. And then we're going to select uh, view text to get to the output. So the first thing we're going to do is look at estimates. So in the estimates tab, we're going to look kind of the main effects of our model. Uh, initially, we're going to look at the adaptive behavior to customer delight. That was our A path here and it was positive and significant. That CR stands for critical ratio, it's your t-values. Uh, our B path down here, which was delight to word of mouth, was also positive and significant. But our C path, the direct effect from the IV to the DV, adapt to word of mouth, um, was close, but really non-significant, which kind of gives us initial indication that we've probably got full mediation going on here. Partial mediation would be if the direct effect from the IV to the DV was significant, and you also found significance through the, the mediating relationship. But we don't really find the direct effect here, um, so it's looking like we've got full mediation. We've also got our interaction term to delight right here, adapt times friendly, to delight it is positive and it's also significant uh, so what this tells us is, is that friendliness moderates the relationship from adaptive behavior to delight that's all it says that just that relationship right now so adaptive behavior gets stronger the relationship has a strengthening relationship from adaptive behavior to delight when friendliness is high when friendliness is low it makes it weaker and that's all it tells us right now. It doesn't tell us anything about the indirect effects. Just simply from the A path, it makes it strength, uh, stronger. And then our moderator to delight, you can see, is also positive uh, and really strong, significant. So now at this point, we just looked at the main effects, but let's look at the indirect effects. Is even the indirect effect even significant? So in our estimates tab, we want to go down to a value called the matrices and, and choose that. Uh, and in, within that matrices, we're going to go down to what's called the indirect effects. Uh, and so from our adapt construct right here to word of mouth. So it's looking at the indirect effect of adapt to uh, word of mouth. Our value is 0.156. And that's great, and we need that value to tell us what is the indirect effect, but it doesn't tell me if it's significant or not, though. Where we find this information is down here, what's called bootstrap confidence, down here at the bottom. Uh, one of the quirky things about um, Amos is, is, you can see I've got this indirect effects already selected. But if I wasn't on that tab, I was in like scalars up here, you can see this all grays out and won't let me look at it. So you literally have to be selecting indirect effects and then these all these values down here you know, become live, if you will, so you can see them. So we want to go down to this one at the very bottom called Bootstrap Confidence. And this gives us the confidence interval of our indirect effects. So we can see our lower bound right here was 0.09, and our upper bound was 0.229, and that does not cross zero, uh, which gives us an indication that is this significant. This last value down here is our p-value, and the p-value is less than 0.001. So yes, uh, very significant, and the indirect effect is there. So at this point, we've looked at the main effects, and we looked at the indirect effect, and we've seen that you know it is uh, it has an indirect effect from adapt through delight to word of mouth. But I don't don't know at this point if it's the moderator moderates the indirect effect. All right, that's where that moderated mediation kind of comes back into. 
So let's go back to our indirect effects uh, tab at the top here. And um, what we're going to look for is uh, um, a value that's called the index of moderated mediation. Uh, you'll see this term used specifically in process and some others. It'll say index of moderated mediation. Amos doesn't actually label that, just assumes that you kind of know it. Uh, but what it is, is it's the interaction term uh, influence through the mediator to the DV. So we're looking at the indirect effects kind of again, except now the indirect effects with the moderator present. Uh, in there. And so this first value up here is our interaction term, adapts time, times friendly, and the indirect effect to word of mouth is 0.015. Again, that doesn't tell me if it's significant, that's just the indirect effect. So let's go back to that bias uh, corrected uh, confidence intervals at the bottom. So my lower bound is 0.001, my upper bound is 0.031, and my p value in this is. 0.039. So what this tells me is, is that the indirect effect is actually being moderated by friendliness. So now we have a full moderated mediation that's taking place. Uh, the friendliness is moderating the indirect effect that takes place with adapt through delight to word of mouth. So now we've kind of assessed the mediation, the moderation, and now the, com uh, the combination, if you will, of the two to assess is moderated mediation present. If you're looking for more information about moderated mediation, on uh, the nuts and bolts and specifics on uh, how to do it, and even how to kind of present your results from a moderated mediation, uh, I'd encourage you to check out my book, Applied Structural Equation Modeling Using uh, Amos. There's a lot of detail in there about that and a lot of other topics as well. Uh, and if you saw value uh, in this video, uh, I would ask that you like and subscribe. Uh, I hope you all have a great week. Good people.